Hello friends, my name is Claire and this is a family house I built in The Sims 4. This is a home designed for a family of five with a cat and I wanted this house to kind of be eclectic, kind of show that this family has moved around a little bit and that they have settled so they could be closer to the kids' school and so we are just going to start off in the little porch area and now we are inside just going to be adding a rug and going into the kitchen this is not a pack restricted build i was thinking of doing a base game build for this next video but i knew i wanted to do something with a laundry room and laundry does not come in the base game and so i kind of went pack crazy just to kind of get it out of my system and then maybe next week or two weeks will be a base game build so if you're interested in seeing that please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and so we are just going up to be adding some bar stools and going to be adding some upper cabinets into the kitchen. It's a very small kitchen, but I wanted it to be very open with like the rest of the house with like the living room and it's right next to like the formal dining room and so we are just going to be finishing up the kitchen and going into the living room area. I do come back and add some clutter into the kitchen. I was just kind of floor, floor planning in a way. It's like, okay, I got all the necessary items in the kitchen. Now let me make sure I have enough room for the big TV in the living room. And so we are just going to be adding this little dresser or coffee table underneath the TV. I really wanted this house to feel very eclectic, like I said earlier, and I feel like this item underneath the TV looks like it was very handed down, very much handed down, and very much loved. And so, we are just going to be adding a little computer nook area in this area. I build a lot of family homes and I know different families have different like, rules they want their kids to follow when it comes to being online and so I sometimes put the computer like in its separate area sometimes I put the computer in more of an open area and right by the stairs just seems like a perfect little computer nook for this house and so we're just going to be adding some decorations into the kitchen now that I kind of floor planned and made sure there's enough space for everything I knew I needed to add and now we're just kind of going back into the front of the house and adding a little drop zone a little place to put off take off your shoes and your coat and put your umbrella away and so we're just going to be adding this blanket basket and going to be adding this bookshelf well trying to see if i can add a bookshelf i actually don't end up using that bookshelf although i could because that bookshelf has medium it's like good for a medium wall height and this first floor is a medium wall height and so now we're just going to be adding some pet bowls and I was imagining there would be a cat in the space. You can honestly have a dog if you want to change that. I just had space for a litter box, which I will show you right now about. I had a little bit of like a mudroom, laundry room area, and I thought it would be fun to have like a laundry room here because I know sometimes houses have like laundry room in the garage, but I thought it would be fun to have the laundry room like off of the garage which is kind of also I've seen houses like this and so we do have a little area for the cat like I keep saying I have a pet bed a litter box and I was trying to add like the cat tree things but I forgot and I kind of forgot about oh yeah I have a cat in this house throughout the entire thing so there's not really anything for the cat like other than their box and the pet bed but there will be some 
items for the cat if I remember before I post this on the gallery and if you want to play in this house on the gallery you can find all the information down in the description like the price and the name of the lot and my gallery ID and so we are in the garage now and I made this garage space into an art studio since we can't really have actual garages I figured we could have a space that on the outside looks like a garage but it's a furnished area on the interior and so I was thinking like paint studio slash dance studio but I ended up getting rid of the dance floor that came with the horse horse ranch pack and so this is a full on art studio. I was thinking that maybe one of the parents is an artist and so it would make sense for them to have like a art studio in the garage. And so we are also just going to be adding this basketball hoop that came with City Living because City Living also came with those blue squares that your sims can paint on and practice your painting skills. I do have a normal art easel so they can like do different mediums and so we are just going to be adding these cool rugs that look like pink splatters look like they've been well used and so we are just going to be adding some of these like pictures that are like halfway done or like all the way done i feel like it's just really added to the art inspired area and i did want to do a house where it's like two different like both parents have jobs and so they need two different offices and I was thinking that one of them would be an artist but I don't have another like workspace for the other parent so if you have any ideas for that other parent or maybe both parents that could be a future video where I have like two offices for both parents so if you have any ideas let me know down in the comments and you just saw me add some pipe art into that space into the garage and I thought that would just be fun to like have like just like necessary items like the day-to-day -day pipes just kind of be painted kind of make it look a little bit fun since this is an art studio but we are just going to quickly add some more things into the laundry room hallway area there is access to the backyard through this area probably should have mentioned that sooner if you didn't see it and so we are just going to be adding an extra laundry bin down here because you can't really have too much laundry in one of these houses. Especially if you hate doing laundry in The Sims if, and if you hate doing laundry in real life. So we are just in the half bath on the first floor. This is this bathroom that I kind of themed off of blue and it kind of goes with like the main area because the wallpaper is also blue in that area but I feel like this is just kind of a fun little guest bathroom like if your sims are having like a dinner party or something then like they would need to have like a main functioning bathroom down here and now we are in the primary bedroom which I designed to just be kind of colorful kind of fun and vibrant I figured since like maybe one of the parents is an artist they want to have like a fun and colorful room as well so we are just going to be finding some side tables I use these ones from cats and dogs and the room kind of starts off with being this like kind of red color to like match the room or to match the bed but I do change the swatch of the bed to be kind of like a blue and ye yellow theme and I feel like that works a little bit better. I feel like the red was just a little bit intense and kind of too contrary to the blue wallpaper paneling in this room and so having a blue and yellow bed kind of more complemented the bed and the room and so we are just going to be adding this bed or this picture from seasons and i don't think i keep that dresser from the seasons pack or i might have kept it and i just cut out the part where i deleted the first dresser that i chose anyway we are just going to do a little bit of rearranging in 
this bedroom and I do get rid of that dresser I remember to write and so I just have a little seating area by the shoes by the closet and I just did this because I didn't really know what else to add I was could put a tv like right where the window is then I had to get rid of the window and I didn't really want to do that for like the exterior look of things and so that's just kind of a little seating area for the parents and so now we are in their primary bathroom which is just a very simple and small area i'm just going to be adding all the necessary items that's kind of my usual two by two by three room and i feel like this turned out pretty well i do usually do put the door like in the middle of the three um uh, squares but instead of putting in the middle, I put it onto the right side, so it's a little bit different layout than you may be used to seeing if you've seen my videos before. And so I do also make sure to add a laundry basket so there's no dirty laundry piling up on the floor. And it was a little bit hard because I didn't want to like make it was clipping, but I also wanted to make sure that you could your Sims could use the toilet. And so we are just going to be adding some bathroom clutter into this bathroom. I'm going to be adding some towels and some a bathroom robe. And I feel like this space turned out pretty well. Just going to be adding some rugs and going to be finishing up this space with a picture from the base game. And I really feel like this area turned out well. I'm just going to be changing the color of the bed like I mentioned earlier and now we're just back into like the little home office nook just going to be adding some decorations there going to be adding a backpack I was originally just going to have like a like a child girl and a teen boy but I ended up having like two children girls and one teen boy so we are just going into the formal dining room area and I wanted this area just to be very simple. I kind of wanted it to, like, sim like kind of be similar to, like, a sunroom in a way. Like, it's just very bright and a lot of windows everywhere. I do use a smaller table, which I, you can see I am using now. And I feel like this area turned out pretty well for a smaller space. I know formal dining rooms don't really get used that much in real life, but I feel like they're still useful in The Sims. This is kind of like a house that I could imagine that it's kind of like added onto, like added this dining room onto, and maybe the Sim family moved back to Brindleton Bay to be closer to family, and so since they're closer to family, they want to have a lot of dinner parties and get the family back together, and now we are just going out to be adding some pictures from the cats and dogs pack and I feel like it'd be funny since like these kind of look like the cat did it that maybe the cat's a true artist but the, the sims are taking like the credit for it so like basically all of the wealth of this family is coming from like the pets who are doing the art and it's not it's not the sims it's the cat and maybe the dog and so we're just going to be adding a little hutch with like plates and such into this room because it just kind of made sense to like have like more like the everyday plates close to the dining room and then there is like another hutch like outside of the dining room where that's more like the nice china that's more for display purposes than actually eating off of and so we are just going to have some symmetry with these plants and I feel like this room also turned out pretty nice. I wanted to add some blue curtains to kind of balance out the blue wallpaper in like the main part of the house and I do add solar panels into the exterior of this house because I am using other items from the eco lifestyle pack in this house and so now we are in the upstairs hall bathroom that will service the two ba bedrooms up here 
and this is a two or three bedroom free bathroom house i'm sorry i probably should have mentioned that earlier but hey at least i mentioned it if you haven't figured that out by the time the video is over and so we are just making this bathroom kind of simple it is kind of small in a way it's like i wanted to i really wanted to make sure that your sims had enough space to get from the sink to the toilet and shower in between and so we do have a laundry basket in here i tried to like put a laundry basket in every room i know your sims would be changing their clothes because every time your sims do a little tornado and they change clothes it's usually a pile of laundry that appears although when i was doing this house and making sure it was play playable my sim didn't produce a pile of laundry so i might have just missed something maybe the, te the sims team fixed something where there's not a pile of laundry every time or maybe my game's just a little glitchy anyway we are just in uh, this hallway space i wanted to add this cool light feature just one brighten up the hallway too like i said it's a cool light feature and so we are just going to be adding some books, going to be adding this cool little lamp lighthouse that came with the cats and dogs pack. If you've seen my videos, you would know whenever I use the cats and dogs pack, I try to incorporate the lighthouse picture or the la the lamp because it the lighthouse just have a special place in my heart and so we are just going to be in the little girl's room now i was imagining that like they wouldn't be twins like one w would be slightly older than the other maybe one of them just aged out in of being a toddler and so there's not really any like sign of like the toddler toilet or so such on but they are both horse girls i myself was a horse girl for i don't remember how long but when i got onto a horse i realized i was definitely allergic to horses there's a picture of my my eye all swelled up and i didn't i dropped the horse girl stuff i used to have this like little horse uh stuffed animal and it had like a saddle a saddle and a bridle and i don't remember where it ended up anyway back to the video we are just making this a horse girl of my horse girl room of my little girl dreams and so we do have a barn for the sims to play with and of course had to add the unicorn st stuffed animal make it to kind of go with the uh, bedding I added in the on the second bed on the upper bed in this room and so we are just going to be adding a book bag into this room so each child does have their own book bag I put this one up here because maybe the sim likes doing their their homework without their parents help and maybe the book bag downstairs still needs a little bit help of help with math or science and so they have their book bag downstairs but this sim that has the book bag up here likes doing on their own maybe this book bag is for the older child in this room and so we are just going to be trying to find something to put on the dresser i couldn't really like think of some anything specific when I was building this but I'm like I know there is an item that would go perfect right here on the dresser and so we do take a break to find a poster trying to use some items from the parenthood pack because that is a main tile I use in the bathrooms and in the laundry room and we're just going to be adding some decals going to be adding some art onto the walls i wanted to add another unicorn feature and so we're just now going to be adding some bunnies because i also love adding bunnies into my builds because i have a bunny myself or i guess it's kind of more my sister's bunny but it's also kind of more the family bunny so we are just going to be adding some nail polish and i do find another another bunny in the catalog from the base game that goes perfectly but first we are just in the teenagers room i 
honestly at first wasn't sure if that this would be for a teen girl or for a teen boy but i kind of lean more into a teen boy for this room they do have their own private balcony so they can have a little bit more privacy i'm using a lot of items from the high school years pack and it's just kind of a simple sporty room with a balcony attached to it that's like three words i would ha i would describe this room and so we're just going to be using these cool lights from the high school years pack and make it cool design i tried to do like some different things with those lights and i feel like that was a cool design i feel like i normally just do a nor like a usual like kind of s shape but it's kind of more like horns in a way and so we're just going to be adding a lot of sports and music things into this room. I feel like music would be this Sims creative outlet, and they're, but they're on the football team, so maybe they don't want everybody to know that they're Troy Bolton. So we are just going to be adding another book bag for this sim and I really like this idea especially because I do have a spot for the sim to do their homework privately. I, I didn't really have enough space to add a desk for the sim in the other kids bedroom so I wanted to make sure the sim had private space and your sims do st can still walk through the door. I did play test it and so we are just going to be making a study nook for them. I do have a, de uh, this desk is from the City Living Pack and I feel like it looked nice. It's kind of more of a smaller desk than the one I used downstairs with the computer. And so we are just going to be doing a little bit of rearranging in this space and so I do keep like most of the same items right now it's just kind of figuring out what to put on the walls kind of giving this room a little bit more personality besides just sports and music and so we are just going to be adding some new shoes going to be adding some wireless headphones. I thought it'd be funny to put the headphones like up high on the desk because it's like maybe the younger sisters always want to use the headphones and so when the older brother sim isn't around they he has to put them up high so his little sisters won't get to them. So that'd be kind of a funny little story and so we do add another basketball and a cap that I pretty sure signed but I do also add some signed jerseys and so we are just going to be adding some items from the clutter kit and going to be going outside in onto the balcony which I do add a diff uh, punching bag and I am um, just in the front of the house adding some bikes for the children and going back upstairs to the balcony and going to be adding just a little seating area if you possibly didn't want like a family or a different type of family you can maybe have like the grandparents living downstairs and then have like the parents in this teen boy bedroom and then having like children in the pink horse girl bedroom if you wanted to have a different family or a different family dynamic living in this house and so I wanted to add a little ladder into this house so maybe your teen can sneak away to a party or something. I, it's an item I don't really use until I wanted to use it in this house and it's an item I, I kind of forgot about and so again wanted to use it in this house and so we are just trying to find other items to add onto this balcony and we're just going back inside real quick because you probably saw there's another like blue square in this house and I was thinking like oh I'll have my playtester sim paint a uh, picture but um, then I saw these different jerseys from the city living pack I'm like oh this would make more sense since it's kind of more of a sports themed bedroom and so we are just going to be adding a laundry basket just kind of doing a little bit of rearranging and now we are in the final part of this build which is the backyard we wanted this area to 
be a fun backyard, especially for the kids. Like, like I mentioned earlier, I was mentioning that this family kind of moved around a lot and they're kind of settling down for a little bit to get their sim children through school. And so like this is kind of like a long term house for the sims. And so I wanted this area in the backyard to be a very fun place for the sims to bring their kid friends over. And I do make sure that there is a lot of things like swing sets and like fire pit area and so we are just going to be adding those items that swing set fire pit area i do also add a drawing table and i put it in the kids room because i thought it'd be fun to like add a like drawing table something for the kids so they can pretend to be like their parent and he was an artist and we are just going to come up here and again do it just do a little bit of rearranging and we're going to be adding this cool pop-up storybook from the another kit it was like backyard kid camping i don't remember the exact name and so we are getting close to the end of the video Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to play in this house, you can find that information down in the description. I post new videos every single Tuesday, so please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to see me build something specific, please comment it down below. I'd love to hear it. If it's like a family or a career you want me to build, let me know down there in the comments. And I hope to see you all next week for another Sims 4 video. Bye. I hope you all have an amazing week.